have you ever been used by somebody before i mean i think we all have <laughs> i think it's a part of life sometimes so second one i said is james franco okay so recently james franco did a serious xm interview where he said he understood a part of his contribution to the woman everyone welcome back to another like tarot so i am doing this kind of hot topics special that i used to do and then they became updates about Gigi and zane and so on i a little bit which is fine i love doing those but i want to go back to doing like weekly updates about hot topics so this i'm adding into the update so first i'm going to be doing kim Kanye, then james franco i've been meaning to do this for a while because I actually met him it's funny I've met him a few times and I end up usually meeting him I met him uh, I think twice in New York and once in LA but it's weird I, I often see him in different places that I am at so we will find out um, not we will find out but I will explain to you more when I cover the whole sexual harassment thing because oh yeah the whole thing so and then last Wendy Williams what's going on with her you know so first Kim and Kanye so Kanye has gone completely dead silence kept quiet uh, it's been like what two weeks they said time flies I've been so busy that I didn't even realize it's been two weeks that he hasn't posted anything on Instagram but a lot and most everything that I, in fact, everything I've predicted about Kim and Kanye has come true. Um, I will have a card in this video about it, so please stay tuned. And okay, so, wow, this is very interesting. The Hermit of Cups and the Death card. Kim is going to use, and I predicted this, I said she's using Pete to how make sure she has the thing is kim out of all the kids knows who her mother is she knows that her mother who is the producer executive producer of keeping up with the kardashians wants her children to always have a spouse or partner to be on the show because it's a storyline so she's using Pete for a storyline and I wouldn't even be surprised to have cups in the death card if they have a fake engagement I don't believe that this relationship is that real I think it's a fake engagement and six of cups Pete is receiving something from it and that I think is publicity number one but also a sense of unity I think he has a deep longing Pete Davidson, I think he has deep longing for his uh, a family unit because he's the only child, I believe. He's the only child. He lost his dad when he was young. And I think he has a deep yearning for family. But with the towel card, something's going to happen. And I strongly feel like Kim is going to be like, Psh, that's it. If you can see this card, she's running away from this guy. This guy's falling. I think she's going to leave him and kind of like I mean she has a history of doing this just completely isolate people and then say it's their fault and then a few years down the line it's not their fault anymore my foot's falling asleep so please comment let me know what you think what do you think about the situation the relationship and have you ever been used by somebody before I mean I think we all have <laughs> I think it's a part of life sometimes so the second one i said is james franco okay so recently james franco did a serious xm interview where he said he understood a part of his contribution to the woman that he uh that alleged that he was harassing and sa you know on youtube with say sa but the thing is okay I met James Franco, I actually served him at a restaurant around the time the allegations were coming out and I didn't get a creepy vibe from him, I think I served him twice, I met him twice, 
I can't exactly remember if I served him or I met him through a friend, but I met him twice in the same year and I thought it was really weird I was meeting him twice. I remember that because I was like, why am I seeing this guy <laughs> a lot? Anyways, so I served him. He was very nice, very polite. Um, he was on, I don't think, I think, I don't think it was a date, honestly. I think he was just talking to someone and they were talking about how she wanted to be an actress she was like telling him everything she wanted to do she was really sweet too very very sweet, beautiful and he was like inspiring her it seemed like a genuine mentorship kind of relationship and he was very kind like i said he did kind of give me a little creepy vibes like when he was on his phone and stuff he was like maybe that's just my perception could be totally my the my projection onto him and if it is i apologize but i just felt a little uneasy i would have felt being uneasy being left alone with him i don't know what it is but i just felt like that that was how i felt so i'm not surprised when those allegations came out i'm not surprised at all because i just felt like even though you know there's those people that are like even though they say the right thing at the right time you still feel like I don't trust you. <laughs> you know, it was like that. Maybe I just have trust issues with celebrities or people like that. But that's just the energy I picked up on. So the Four of Swords, Page of Pentacles, and Three of Pentacles. So I'm just responding to how the energy of what happened and whether he is sincere in his apology or not. Four of Swords, Page of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles. <clears throat> I strongly believe that his apology of what happened is more about money because people didn't want to work with him anymore you know uh, Seth Rogen publicly came out and said he didn't want to work with him I'm not a Seth Rogen fan at all honestly I think he's very a lot of these people are motivated by money and fame that's like the basis the baseline so I think a lot of people have come out and said they haven't worked with him even behind the scenes and that's what pushed him to want to move forward but it's only going to get worse because three of ones in reverse and eight of swords he isn't being truthful he isn't fully being honest and this is going to prompt more people to come forward now whether all of them are telling the truth or not i don't know that i just know that he does have some secrets in his closet i'm not going to say what they are that are going to come to light very soon so please comment let me know please be respectful the next one is wendy williams Okay, I've been a Wendy Williams fan for a long time. She's been on uh, TV since I've been an adult. So my adulthood is basically Wendy Williams. You know, I would come home every night. There was a time I didn't watch her because I felt like she's becoming really mean. But as a whole, I would come home every night and be like, okay, I need to watch Wendy Williams. I'd watch the one on YouTube. Sometimes when I used to work at I used to work during the day, like really early in the day, so I'd be home just for Wendy Williams. <laughs> I used to be at like four or five, and I'd be home just for that, and it was such a great time. Such nostalgia is attached to her, I feel like. So it's very sad to see what's going on, and especially with her whole thing with Wells Fargo, and it seems very complicated, so I just want to give like a... I want to simplify the energy behind what is going on. Is she okay? Are people trying to steal her money? I don't know the full story, so don't expect me to give you the full story and rely on it completely. But I want to give you the energy that I feel. And you know, I'm actually going to do a full rundown of her, Kevin, not her son because I don't do children. Just the energy of what is really going on. But this is just a simplified version. I will do a full one soon. So Ace of Wands, Queen of Cups, and Four of Cups. Okay, so... I do see here that she's struggling a lot to let go of her title and it's not easy. I don't like at all what Sherry Shepard did. I think it's very sneaky. It's very Hollywood to do stuff like that. To just like, the show is still called Wendy Williams and she's on it. It's just such a bad, bad way to do business and to have your name out there. There are other ways to go about it than this. So she feels isolated she feels left on the cold she feels like they did her wrong nine pentacles five pentacles and four so she is going to come back i predicted before that she's going to do a podcast 
I don't know if she's coming back to the show. I will clarify that very soon in a full breakdown. But I do feel like something very big is coming for her. And she will get her money. Right now she's focused on getting her money. And then once she has that, she will put that money into what she wants to do moving forward. And I think that's why they're blocking her money. So please comment, let me know. I love you all. Subscribe. Take care.